Hi, and welcome to the Cult of Crafting. My name is Michael, and today I'll show you how to make a tank out of foam that you can use as a piece of terrain or even as a proxy for a model in your army if you want to save some money on some plastic kits. Let's begin. I'm gonna base the camouflage tank on this predator that I borrowed from a friend. And we can break that model down into four components that we need to make. The gun turret, the main compartment, and the armor covering the wheels and treads on both sides. Besides that, we can add some small embellishments here and there. This should work for the sides, so let's see if we can use the tank as a template. This is looking a little sketchy, but we'll make it work. I'm gonna cut these on my Proxon, but if you don't have one, you can use a craft knife instead. I'll mark out the turret same as before, and I'll use my knife to cut out the shape. Next up, we are going to bevel the edges of the turret. Now we have all the parts for the hull ready, let's stick them together. I'm going to use a fast setting tacky glue for that. I'm just going to stick some pins in the model to make sure the foam doesn't move while the glue is setting. For the hatch, I'm going to use a 25mm round base. And now we'll leave everything to dry for half an hour. Next, we're going to make a barrel and attach it to the turret. I'm going to make mine out of styrene rod, but you don't need to. You can use anything round, like a ballpoint pen or even a hot glue stick. Remember, we're going to hide most of this, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that it's dry, we can remove the needles. And now it's time to mount the turret. It's looking a little flat, so let's add some more details. To color our camouflage nets, I'm gonna mix some paint with some PVA glue and a little water I'm actually going to paint the tank before I add the camo netting. To make the camouflage nets, I'm going to use cheesecloth. I've used cheesecloth before and it works really well. So I'm not just going to cover the whole thing with one piece, I'm going to make several pieces to cover the different parts of the tank. I'll make one piece for the hull one for the turret and one for the cannon. One thing you can do is to pull it diagonally to make it look a little more random and organic, which makes it look better in my opinion. I'll just make a hole for the turret. Now it's time to apply the cannon net to the tank. And we start by chucking the cheesecloth into the pink mix we made until it's completely soaked through. Then we pull it out and wring out the excess. Now 
That looks about right. Now we apply the piece to cover the turret. I'm trying to make sure that we can see all the details we added earlier. While the paint is wet, I'll add some leaves from Loch. It was a bit too much, so I'm knocking back the effect by stippling with a brush. Now that the paint is dry, I realize that I should have added a wash and dry brush before adding the leaves. So we're gonna do that now instead. I'm making a wash out of water, acrylic, ink and soap. You can use brown paint instead of ink. The ink is just easier to dissolve. The reason for adding this soap is to reduce the surface tension of the wash, which helps it soak into porous materials instead of just forming droplets on the surface. And I'll leave that to dry completely before moving on, because the wash will make the PVA glue soft again. Once the wash is dry, I'll give the tank a dry brush with the original green color that I used. Then I'll mix that original color with some white and give it an even lighter dry brush. I'll cover the entire tank with diluted PVA glue, so I once again can sprinkle some leaves on it. This time I'll try to place them more randomly. Let's take a look at the final result. As always, thanks to my patrons who helped me cover the cost of making these videos. If you want to support the channel, like, comment and subscribe, or head on over to Patreon and become a member of the cult. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.